Good morning, welcome back to our weekend vlog. It's Saturday morning and we're getting ready to go on a picnic. Our friend's having her jab an hour before the meeting, her second jab, so we'll see how she goes. I'm not sure how far we'll be walking today, but we're getting our picnic ready. I'm just about to make some hummus, I'm making coffee, and I made a pear and cinnamon cake last night to take as well. We also did a trip to Mark's yesterday morning and picked up cocktails in a tin in a can and I'll let you guess what flavour sandwiches we picked up. Hope you enjoy this weekend's vlog. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you've had a good week. Let us know what you've been up to. So I'm just boiling up my chickpeas. I've got a really good recipe that makes excellent hummus. I've used it a few times so I'll link that down below. Here's the cake I made. I made it last night and um, we obviously had to try it to make sure it was okay but that's pear and cinnamon it's got a nice crunchy topping but it's also very very gooey right i think we're ready we've got our beloved sandwiches ace picked up sausage rolls and a pork pie we've got seriously strong cheddar spread which we're going to use as a dip for our crackers we've got some cheese which i'm going to slice up we've got salami um celery sticks which will go with the hummus i've got plates and napkins and the cake is that everything and our cocktail tins i think that's it i think so are you wanting to take any crisps or anything i think we've got loads think, haven't we something else to take isn't it yeah and bring back um, okay yeah i'm happy with this and aid's just finished off the coffee that i started as well so we've got disney's hollywood studios and Universal Orlando's in the old style mugs today. And I completely forgot that I had this rucksack. We had this, we can't remember, it was like super, super cheap or free when we bought off DisneyStore.com, um, the American store before. And we had the delivery sent to our resort when we were staying at Disney. And it's a really nice one. We had never used it before. It's still got the tag attached. And so we're gonna take this on our picnic today. been really lazy vlogging I couldn't be bothered to take my camera so I've got my phone AIDS got the on the GoPro and we are so lucky where we are this is about a five minute walk from home and we're just waiting for our friends and then we're gonna go and have a boozy picnic yeah been looking forward to this all week what have you got on your picnic um, well, everyone's seen what I've got in my picnic. Have they? Yeah, I've already showed them. And I've made hummus, and all I can taste is garlic. All I can taste is cumin. <laughs> he choked on the cumin. I did put quite a lot of cumin in. Yeah. It's made it quite spicy. I didn't follow that recipe, by the way. I've ended up doing something else, so I'll tell you about that later. But I ran out of tahini. I thought I had some, so I've made it without the tahini. And to be honest, it's just as nice. So I think I might just make it without tahini all the time. It's I less calories. Less cumin. <laughs> it just doesn't do any spice. Or do? Those are our logs. Are they? Have they moved them? I think they're just there. Oh yeah. Oh. Those are logs. Those are our logs. The army of bloody. Or should we go down to the tree? Yeah. Because it is dry. Yeah, it's dry. It is dry. You're, You're right. It looks really nice. Yeah, the grass is dry. Let's go down yeah. to the big oak tree. Down to the tree. Well, should we take the logs with area. us? Should we drag them so we've got yeah, somewhere to sit on? Or we could roll one over. Yeah, roll it. Sit on one and sit on the other one. Would we get told off by the army for moving? Look, there's a big log in the trees. Should we go and see? Because that looks a little bit oh, yeah. sunny. Yeah. Should we go and have a look? 25 minutes, 52 seconds this per looks mile. Nice here, Split actually. pace, 25 oh, there's a little bit minutes, of sun here. 52 seconds per mile. What are we thinking? Where's my tree, eh? Um, I'll have a look. Has I'll somebody have moved your tree as you well? Moved it. Oh, no. oh, we've got to Oh, look, one of the toilets has fallen over. I'll have a look on the. Uh, Not going in that one. Yeah, I think it might be just over. Shall we try and find your tree, Johnny? We've been looking through that one. I think it's over there. Yeah. It was over a year ago. No, it was about a year ago, wasn't it? That so we found your tree. Let's have a look. You'd knock your toilet over. Do you reckon it's the one in the tree in the middle? Yeah. Can I have a look? I've got the logs marked off. 
Have you not got Johnny's tree? Ah, tree is the other way. Oh. What? Is it? Hang on, hang on. Smoke things that Emily's just found. Grenade hand smoke screening. So the army have definitely been here, haven't they? Yeah. A flashbang. Is that what it is? Or is it smurf? It's a, a smurf. A smurf? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks so pretty though. We're just saying how beautiful that house is. And the views they've got. I'm looking forward to a sandwich now. Egg and tomato. Yeah. I think I corn. Is this picnic worthy? Johnny's found his spot. Which one are you going for, Aid? I, I might go on this one here next to you. Oh, you're by. What? <laughs> no, next to you. Are you? Yeah, on this one, I think. It's a lovely view. Aid's found the perfect cup holder. That's a very good one, Aid. We had such a lovely walk today. It was so nice. We did four miles. The picnic spot was so perfect. You know, it was showing nine degrees on our phone. And yet it was so warm. Aid was in, well, Aid's in shorts all year, all year round. But Johnny stripped off to his t-shirt and none of us had coats on. It was so lovely. We could have spent so long there. We just sat watching other people walk past with their dogs. There was horses galloping past at one point. Not wild, they're on with people. It was just so lovely. We're gonna definitely make that our picnic spot. It was so perfect there by the trees. Really, really lovely. Um, I had a headache again. I keep coming home with headaches and I know it's my fault because I'm not drinking enough water, but I've taken it easy this afternoon. We've watched the funeral this afternoon. Um, Prince Philip's funeral. The boys are watching football. Um, it's an FA Cup thing. I think Chelsea are playing Chelsea's Lewis team. So the boys are watching that and I'm having some work time. I think Aidan and I might watch Run this evening. I fancy a cosy evening. I wanted to give you a behind the view look of my studio right now. Bearing in mind I finished kit packing late last night or yesterday evening. You know what it's like. I throw everything in the studio so I can have my house back. I haven't tidied everything away. I completely forgot that my subscription finished, my monthly sub boxes. The date was yesterday. I'm supposed to swap it over to the new kit today. I completely forgot. I've never done that before. So I need to do that. But I wanted one more photo. I'm collaborating with Emily this month, Emily Harvey Art. She does have a YouTube channel. I will link her up. She does studio vlogs. If you love a studio vlog, you will love hers. She's lovely, really, really sweet. Just, you know, one of those people that you can just tell is really sincere and genuine. I really enjoy her videos. She's an amazing illustrator. So go and check her out. I'll leave her link below. She's designed a notepad for us this month. I am so happy with it. They're all here. I've got boxes and boxes of stuff in my studio at the moment. I need more space. But I've just been putting together the kit. But I wanted to show you the finished look of how a photo looks when I share it online compared to reality because the two are very, very different. Right guys, this is reality. This is how my studio looks right now and I'm working in all this mess. I have got so many boxes of stuff there, um, orders coming in, um, oh hi Pops. Just loads and loads of stuff that I need to deal with. I don't even know how I'm gonna deal with it because it's stock, just various bits and pieces. This is all come in from kit packing, which I need to put away. I've literally got, I've got, three kits left this month. One of those is spoken for, somebody's subscription bounced. She's asked me to put it to one side for her. So I've got three kits this month left to sell. So that's really good going. And this is where I'm taking my photo. Excuse all the treats. I have a friend in the US who gets my boxes and every month I send her treats as well. Um, she's from the UK. But I need to put the letter in. I have got those actually in a box in the hallway so I can grab those. This is the notepad that Emily has designed. Isn't it beautiful? And we've also got this tool here in the kit. It's got stars on and sparkles, but this is it. I love it. It's a beautiful notepad. Really lovely, smooth finish. Now I'm thinking the reason I've left it blank, I'll tell you my reasonings. So originally I was thinking lines. 
And then I was thinking, oh, I don't know, shall I leave it blank? So I went to my patrons and asked them to help me out. And we had some like little polls of what would you like? And then I was thinking um, blank or lines. And then somebody said they like dots. So then I was thinking, oh, that could be a nice idea. So between lines and plain, the majority went with plain. It was a, a large majority as well. Then I thought, well, do people want dots? So then we went with dots and plain and plain still won the majority. So we're going with plain. And my thought was, because it's quite a chunky notebook, you've got 50 pages, so there's a lot here and I don't want you to get bored with it. So we're going to be doing next month when the kit goes out, all the different ways you can use this notepad. Obviously, use it as a notepad. You can use it for just jotting down things. You know, if you need to leave a memo in the house, a memo for yourself, you can write your shopping list, you can write your menu planning, your to-do lists, all of that kind of thing. But you can also use it in your scrapbooks and your journaling pages. I'm thinking you could use it for journaling on there. You could add a photo. You could even like a cut the frame out get a craft knife and use it like that pop a photo in so there's going to be lots of ways of how to use this i'm thinking recipe cards there's going to be so many ways could you imagine delivering somebody a friend or family member cake or cookies and actually including the recipe on there as well wouldn't that be cute use it for happy mail there's loads and loads of different ways they're so cute i will have a few for sale as well that i've got a few extra that um aren't taken up by kits so if you would like extra um if you would like one of these i will leave a link below i think i've got maybe 20 that aren't spoken for so i'll leave a link if you do want one so you can go and pick one up but it's really cute it's a six size that's like six by four inches um and like i said there's 50 sheets and it's super super smooth it's so lovely i'm really pleased with these thank you emily if you're watching this i love your artwork look how cute that is. But now to make this look like a photo suitable for my website. And changing the subject completely. I'm actually watching, oh sorry Chloe, that's such a bad photo of you. Let's find She's it. She's just Oh, that's cute, look. This is what I was going to say. Chloe has a new baby. Look how sweet, a little miniature dash hound. So I'm watching Chloe's weekly vlog. I'm watching her receive her tiny little baby. She's so cute. That hummus, by the way, was really, really good. I included a lot of garlic. I will leave the link below because it doesn't have tahini in. I'd ran out of tahini and didn't realise. It's a really lovely um, hummus, but I did add, I think, double the quantity of garlic I was supposed to have. Um, Aid keeps complaining that I stink of garlic. He didn't eat any. And apparently I absolutely stink. I think garlic's a nice smell though, do you? Right, so I've tied it around it a little bit. This is where I've taken the photo from and I will include the photo here so you can see how it really looks. I really need to empty my bins, they're so bad. Priorities though, I do need to update the website. I need to get the new subscription on. I'm going to do that now and then I'm going to tidy up this mess. It's all about priorities. It's half past seven, I'm done with all my desk admin. And now I'm going to tackle that mess. Right, it's a little bit better, but it's half past seven and I'm not doing a massive tidy up now. Bins are going to be emptied tomorrow and I will deal with this stuff tomorrow. I'm going to work in here on videos and things like that tomorrow, I think. But it's definitely an improvement and I won't dread coming in here to work tomorrow, so that's good. Yay, I ended up editing this whole tomorrow's video. Um, so I'm quite chuffed with that. It's 10 to 9. Aid's just bought Poppy. I'm going to go and have a couple of hours in the lounge with a cup of tea. And you know, we haven't even had dinner. We ate that picnic at 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten anything since and I haven't felt the need to. To be honest, I still smell of garlic. That hummus was really, really strong. Hi there, it's Sunday. I just realised I haven't picked up the camera. I'm having a work day, so it's not very interesting. I've been at my desk, I've edited videos and done artwork for videos and tidied up my studio a little bit more. It's a bit tidier now. And I'm currently editing my class video, which is going up tomorrow. I have an online class starting. So 
not really much going on. Aid's watching the Grand Prix. I'm doing a tuna salad for dinner. So not even that's very interesting. I have, however, just plugged in the cheese toasty maker. I haven't had one for ages. So um, we thought we'd have a little treat, or I thought we'd have a little treat, and I thought a cheese toasty was a nice treat. So that's all that's happening today. Not a very fun Sunday, I'm afraid. All right, let's see how this cheese toasty looks. Oh, that's a good one. I always put cheese on top to make it extra cheesy. That is a good cheese toasty, cheese and onion. It's 10 past three. That video editing of my online class took a lot longer than I expected. I feel really drained now. Um, I've got until about four. I set myself the target of four o'clock to finish work because that's when the Grand Prix should roughly finish and Aidan and I wanted just to sit and have some time together. So I've got about an hour to get my journaling video finished. However, I just feel like I need five minutes to kind of like wake myself up a little bit. I feel really sleepy. Okay, I've finished this page. I've ended up making a page in my journal using an envelope from one of my birthday cards. This came off a box, which was here, which I took off. I like this box here. And then, so I've got a pocket here, and I included one of my birthday cards. And then I've made this here as well, this page, and I've got like a little tag, which has got the receipt from the fish and chips on my birthday. And then all the photos are actually on these three journaling cards these library cards from grace miss paper lover i'll link her channel below if you're into journaling i need two hands to put that back in um but that was, this is a collaboration with grace so i'll link grace's channel up as well for you to take a look and i've done tomorrow's to-do list as well it's half past five i think it's time to go make a tuna salad i'm really tired i've been working now for about 11 hours my fingers ache and I'm tired. I am going to edit some photos tonight when I'm sat on the sofa ready for the video that I've just made tomorrow because that will make my life a little bit easier. But um, I'm ready for lunch. No, dinner. Right, I've made a kind of tuna nissoise with a bit of a twist. So we've got like the salad base, red peppers are under there, cherry tomatoes, cucumber, and then we've got tuna, just tin tuna, sweet corn. I've added um, grilled asparagus, boiled egg, we've got some boiled little potatoes with skins on, there's a little bit of onion on there, parmesan on top, and then I've made like a vinaigrette herby um, type dressing as well. Sunday evening, dinner's cleared up, it's quarter past seven, I've blitzed the bathrooms, I'm now going to quickly bake a cake. You know my favourite banana bread recipe. It's quick and easy. I've got bananas that desperately need using. And Louis is off now. For two weeks, he's due home from Waitrose in 45 minutes. We should have been going to Florida um, on Tuesday. So he's now got two and a half weeks off. So I thought it'd be nice for him to come home to a freshly baked cake. I don't usually, but I've got half a bag of chocolate buttons um, chips here. So I'm going to add them, so it's going to be a chocolate and banana cake, or loaf. Guess what I've forgotten to do? Put bananas in it. No. I use plain flour <laughs> instead of self-raising. So I've sprinkled in some baking powder. I'm going to mix this in, and we'll see if it rises. Yay, it rose. Not as much as usual, but it's not flat, is it? And it smells really, really good, so that's the main thing. Louis home. I'm just cutting into the cake. It looks really nice and gooey. Hello, it's Monday. I don't think I've filmed that much over the weekend, so I've decided to film a bit today as well. Um, except for it's one o'clock now and I haven't actually filmed anything. I've been working since I think 5.30, 6 o'clock, something like that. And I've just literally been sat at my desk the whole time. Um, it's been very admin heavy, lots of video editing, blog scheduling, um, that kind of thing really so not very fun I am just working on packing some orders that have come over the weekend and basically just catching up Monday is always a proper catch-up day so um, might not be too much to add today either but we'll see what happens I'm just about to listen to a new podcast that I haven't listened to before while I'm packing um, I've watched Haley's videos for years, her vlogs. Um, she doesn't really vlog so much anymore, um, but she's really interesting, all about making money out of YouTube. 
um, that kind of thing. So I'm going to stick on this podcast whilst I am listening. Um, just in case, let's see where... Oh, Hayley Johnson. That's all you need to look for, I think. Um, but it's all about like making money out of YouTube. Right, that podcast was 48 minutes. I got interrupted and had to turn it off seven times during that 48 minutes because somebody was in my studio talking to me. Not just quick talk a lot of the time either. And that is just a true representation of how my day is, just constant interruptions. And when people think I'm mad for starting work at like five in the morning, sometimes earlier, it's because that's the only time of day I get to myself, the only time of day I get peace and quiet when nobody bothers me. It's 20 past four, I've finished everything on my list. A couple of things on there that I don't need to do, they're just on there anyway. And I'm gonna do them tomorrow. That feels really good. Um, I've set up for the month, got all the new kit stuff. I'm just printing some bits off because I want to get next month's kit. Um, that'll be June now. I'm um, kind of like set up. I like to have it laid out on my desk so as bits and pieces arrive, I can just put it all together so it all looks nice. This is the artwork for June, which I'm really excited about. So I can start working on that tomorrow. I'm gonna do all the artwork tomorrow. I'm gonna film a studio vlog tomorrow of me creating the artwork. Loads and loads of people ask how I put my kits together. So I think that's what I'm gonna film tomorrow actually. A little bit of that. I need to go to the post office. I have a whole great big mail sack. I think I've got about 40 odd kits. Kit, um, 40 odd orders to ship so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna make some dinner because I'm really really hungry right I'm gonna throw together this rice dish really really quickly it is just after five we're both really hungry post has been dropped I did find this recipe online and I've kind of just like simplified it and adapted it but I'll leave a link to the recipe but I'm kind of just making it up as I go along I've got some chopped garlic onion I've got a veggie store pot um, stock pot rice broccoli some cheddar and I've got a defrosted chicken breast in there I'm just throwing all the rubbish as I'm cutting it as well and I'll put that in the bin and there will be wine added as well I'm just browning off the chicken and then once that's kind of like browned and sealed I will remove it and it gets added again at the end I love these one pot dishes they're so quick and easy I love a meal that I can do in about 15 to 20 minutes do you have any dishes like that let me know if you've got like a one pot dinner that you can make in about 20 minutes let me know and I'd love to try it right the skillet's empty I have made this without chicken as well by the way just add what you want mushrooms broccoli whatever you fancy um, you could put peas in it I have emptied the skillet it's still on heat I've added just regular long grain white rice I just buy whatever is cheapest and I don't want it to stick to the bottom so I'm keeping moving it but I want it to start kind of like looking a bit translucent I'm keeping it moving because I do not want it to burn I've now added a load of water and let that cook down and I will add my stock cube now as well and I want to keep the rice covered in water so I don't want it to go dry stock cubes in and I've set my timer for 10 minutes that's how long this should now take and I'm also going to add my broccoli at this stage and a drop of white wine and I'm just going to place the lid on um, and I'm going to keep an eye on that though because I don't want it to go dry right I've just added some frozen peas as you can see it's getting a little bit on the dry side so I am going to add just a touch more water and I'll put the lid back on. Timer says five more minutes and I'm gonna grate some cheese as well. I'm now adding the chicken back in with the onions and that also gives it a chance to properly cook through as well. Obviously I don't want the chicken to be slightly undercooked and at this stage I'm not gonna add any more water in. I'm quite happy with how that looks. Depends on how cheesy you like it as to how much cheese you need to add. I've also seasoned it as well and I'm gonna also I think I'll add some extra pepper but need to get those taste tests in as to how much you need to add. This is ready, it took 15 minutes. It tastes delicious, it's a little bit whiny but obviously you don't have to add the wine. 
it's cheesy it's got the lovely texture of the rice i love it it's one of my favorite meals so i've just asked aid if you could choose just one type of food to eat for the rest of your life what would it be mine would be bread and cheese any type of bread any type of cheese Aid, what would you? Aid said Burger King. You can't have Burger King. It's a food type, isn't it? What would your food oh, be? I don't know. My food. Would it uh, be burgers? Would you? No. If anything, it had to be meat. It would be steak. Okay. What steak and chips? Mm. Would you get bored of steak and chips? Probably would. Would you get bored of bread and cheese? No, because there's so many different varieties. Of... Oh, so you're allowed different things then? Well, steak and chips is steak and chips. Yeah, but gammon steak. And cheese. No, it's a different animal. Yeah, I know, but it's a no, steak. No, just because it's got steak. You could have tuna steak, though, cod steak, oh, oh, really? chicken steak, turkey. No, you can't you have can, steak. You no. Chicken steaks? Yes, you do. Chicken breasts. It's not a chicken steak. <laughs> could be. <laughs> don't laugh. Um, I don't know, actually. Um, Cereals. No. Pizza. Uh, uh, but so would pizza be. Yeah, but you're saying pizza's allowed. Yeah. But Burger King isn't. No. But would you say burgers would be then? Yeah, you can have, so burgers. have burgers. Yeah, that's what I so said. So I could burgers. then go and get a burger from anywhere or make one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, so I guess steak would be a little bit. Or well, Wagaman was really good. No, because you're choosing a restaurant. Noodles. Can you, you're constantly right in my face. Sorry. Get back. Sorry. Noodles. Yeah, I don't think you would want noodles. I think you Not all the time. No. I'm trying to think what I'd like. I think time. burgers would be one for you. Sandwiches. You get you make many different sandwiches. Yeah, I'm, no, you're, you're, you're not really getting this, are you? Oh, I'd probably say steak. Okay. Steak tips. So you've just changed from steak, though. I oh, know, I can't think of what. Right, the camera's had enough of you, the battery's flashing. Okay. I'm going to finish this vlog and we're going to go and eat our dinner because yeah. it smells and tastes delicious. It's lovely. I recommend you give that one a go. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Lots of love. Bye. Bye. These look so good.